My name is Stephanie Allen, and I'm the lead registrar at the Royal Ontario Museum for this exhibition, which we are deinstalling without any courier assistance. So what that means is we're in the middle of a global pandemic and the lending institution is unable to send a courier to oversee the packing up process. My name is Kes Murray. I'm a student at the University of Toronto and I'm also Stephanie's intern, helping with the deinstall of the Winnie the Pooh exhibition. Well, today is our second day. My impressions overall have been busy, but almost like a, a good structured busy. And everyone's been very kind, like they, they don't mind me like prodding into what they're doing or me just observing them. We had to come up with a way, working with the lender, that would satisfy uh, our ability to actually do our jobs, but more importantly, the lender's comfort and the safety of the artifacts. And we had the conservator over today to look over some books and she had some interesting um, remarks about ink, uh, printer ink and how it can stain different pages differently because of the chemicals in them, which was cool to hear. I'm also was really interested in like to see how the packaging was done to make it easier to like get things out of crates and just to make it as safe as possible. What we came up with was uh, using an app called WhatsApp. Uh, it's it's a, a sort of a general app that people use for communication, sort of, um, so not a enterprise solution, as, uh, as someone might say. So WhatsApp has actually been a really useful tool for us because it is readily available whether you're on Android or iOS. You can download it on your computer. Uh, you can have a video chat, sort of conference call. You can have text chat back and forth. Uh, we use it a lot for sending images and text messages and they all, everything is date stamp. It keeps a running archive. You can archive the entire conversation. Uh, there's security protocols in place so that the messages are encrypted from beginning to end. So every time we finish a condition report, we'll take a photo of the object and the condition report and we'll send it via WhatsApp to tell them that we've looked over this object and it's, and just to update them on any change in its condition or not. Also, we've done one video for one object that required special handling. In fact, the lender that we're working with for this particular exhibition is in Europe. So the time zone didn't allow for immediate communication. We were uh, condition reporting an object and when it was done, uh, we just snapped a picture of the object, uh, sent a text message with the photograph saying this object is done. And, uh, and then the lender was able to cross it off and cross reference it on their end. Uh, and it worked really well. Doing the condition report, it's like, um, it was for one of the, the ceramic pieces, I was looking at the base with a magnifying glass and I saw like thumbprints in the glaze. Long term uh, virtual couriering, I'm not sure what the plans are going to be. What kind of impact will this have on how we courier objects in the future? Um, it, you know, it's, it's an interesting, exercise out of necessity because of uh, COVID-19, but how will that change how museums and other cultural organizations lend objects and, and exhibitions going forward? We have to obviously keep certain meters apart in the same gallery. Museums are cash strapped, and if we can save a little bit of money through not sending couriers, then that is, is an option that I think many museums are willing to explore, uh, and as long as the safety of the objects is not compromised. And so, so far, uh, we have had uh, great success with this approach. Everyone knows what they're doing, and we all do the task, and we just get along together, I find, so it's been kind of calm, which is nice. <laughs> This adds to the the experience of actually like seeing a museum exhibit because now I like I know what goes into it like all the work. We are about probably three quarters of the way through the deinstallation at this point, and no complaints from our side and none from the lending institution side either. Um, not really any uh, drawbacks that uh, that we've encountered. So 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 far so good. Okay, that's an alarm of some sort. We are not alone.